So let's start our next pottery lesson with wedging the clay. So clay usually comes in a in a bag like this. You just kind of very carefully open it up, and you can see it's a large slab of clay. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our wire, just simply a wire with two little wooden ends. We're going to cut some of the clay away from that block. And so what we're going to do is prepare the clay for wedging. So if you notice, I've got a canvas mat here. I keep a little water bottle just to keep the dust down. You see, I've already wedged a few of the clay balls here. Depending on how big a project you're going to do, let's let's do a small, a small, uh, let's say a, a mug or something. So you can you can work the clay this way. You can actually get it into a ball this way, or you can actually wedge it. And so it's a lot like when you're kneading dough when you're making bread, except rather than putting air into the clay, we want to remove it. So notice I'm kind of rolling, rolling, turning folding, rolling, using the heel of my hand to wedge. And this is pretty soft clay, so it doesn't need a whole lot. So once I think I've got it to nice consistency, I can start forming it into a ball. And, and any method, really, you can do. I take both hands, kind of roll the bottom. Gives me a nice smooth surface. I can flatten the top. See? Now I'm ready for throwing. Notice this is a large... A mound of clay, maybe a bowl, maybe a cup, maybe a plate, just about anything. It's good to start with small amounts of clay when you're first learning how to throw. And always make sure you close up your clay bag so that it's ready when you are. You want to keep that fairly moist. So the next thing we'll be throwing.